Lisa. Hi guys, it's Evie here. Just jumping in with a quick note before the interview gets started, just to say that the audio quality here isn't as great overall, because there was some construction and also some vacuuming going on during the rink while we were doing the interview. So please, if you need to, just refer to the transcript or the subtitles on YouTube. If you can't hear anything, I'll leave links in the description for both. So thanks, and I hope you enjoy the interview. So hi, I'm Evie with In The Loop, and I'm sitting down with Holly Harris and Jason Chan, our newly minted Australian Ice Dance champions. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. How did you feel about your performances the last couple of days? I felt really good. Um, I felt super calm and like excited, I think, to be competing. Yeah, and especially since um, last week. I had the flu. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh. I, was, I only skated two days last week, but... Oh, wow. I was okay. I was good. Oh. Yeah, just coughing a little bit. It's good yeah. that you got it recovered in time enough yeah. to compete yeah, yeah, this yeah. week. So yeah. this is your first nationals together as a team. Uh, what's the difference between competing at like a, a different event, like not in Australia versus one here? Like are the crowds um, different or the energies? I would say, um, yeah, it's, I, for me, I don't know for you because you're not from here, but I feel ve- like it's very homey. Like, a lot of people I know and like mm. everyone supporting each other and especially because we were the last event today I feel like the crowd was really big and supportive yeah. and yeah you just feel I think supportive and yeah, yeah. I really felt that support even if uh, I'm not originally from here but <laughs> yeah everyone's super like yeah yeah it's like kind of like family I feel mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah it's nice. yeah so Holly you used to compete in singles uh, just yeah. a couple of years ago so mm-hmm. what fueled your decision to switch to I stance um, well, I kind of, I had a couple concussions, oh. and then, so, I was a little bit afraid to hit my head again, I think, and I had all that time off, and I was always good at and loved the, um, component side of skating, mm-hmm. and skating skills, and choreography, and all that expression, and, um, that aspect of skating, so, um, it was a big decision, but I think it was like the right one, and yeah, I was excited for it. So, what are your favorite yeah. like aspects of ice dance in comparison to singles? Definitely, um, I guess getting to tell a story with someone else, mm-hmm. and I feel like it's it's very fueled by components and skating skills. So, those things are really highlighted, and I think it's um, a lot about the performance. Yeah. So yeah, I love to perform. So. Yeah. And Jason, how did it feel from switching from such like a big federation like Canada to such a tiny one like Australia? Was it a bit daunting at first? Or? Yeah, it was like a big decision that I had to make, but um, when I started skating with Holly, I think like, we both knew that it was like a, a good partnership that we were going to create, so mm-hmm. I think it was, it was the right decision, yeah, yeah, it was worth it and the right decision yeah. to make. So you guys both train at the Ice Academy in Montreal. So what's it like training with all those kind of top teams there? It's, it's super motivating. Yeah, yeah, really motivating. It's like it's seriously like a big family. Like yeah. we all support each other. Like like just going to a competition with we every Our time. Lot, yeah. yeah, there's usually a big group that goes. So it's like mm. you have this family, and like I honestly I couldn't imagine it any other way because yeah. we're all just supporting each other and every corner you turn there's someone from your team yeah and so it's like there's always someone there to help you like always a girl in the locker room who you can count on to zip mm-hmm. up your dress or just yeah. like and yeah like it's just amazing or we'll just be on a session in Montreal and you know one of the top skaters will just see something and be like oh they'll give you a tip and it's like it's yeah. just really nice and they yeah. cheer you on yeah we all cheer on everybody cheer and runs like we're like come on you can do it <laughs> oh. so like it's it's great yeah. so so motivating yeah. are you looking forward to the fact that senior worlds is being held in montreal this year so. yeah everyone's yeah. really excited yeah. yeah everybody's talking about it at the ring yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's a big deal yeah yeah it's awesome so uh, tell us a bit about your programs for this season. So your rhythm dance is a chorus line. How did you go about choosing that music? Well, I think it was me that just put it out there. Yeah, we, there's a Broadway coach that works with everyone at, in Montreal and um, she was helping us because I'm very picky with music. Like, <laughs> I want it to be something I can skate, perform to and yeah. like, express to. So we were like, no, 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 no. And then you just played it and we were like, oh, that's really cool. Like, yeah. 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 So, J- 
Jason, why did you, why did you pick that specific musical? Was it someone that you've seen before and liked, or just heard the music? I actually before? didn't see the Broadway show. Like I was just going through like Wikipedia, trying to go through <laughs> all of the musicals to see like which yeah. one would work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, I saw this one, and it was actually pretty famous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw some videos, and I was like, oh, that'd be pretty cool because yeah. I think the Broadway is about like um, them trying to. Make it, make yeah, it, break it. Yeah. So like, I felt that that was kind of a uh, fitting for mm. our situation. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And your free dance is uh, "Ain't Nobody Loves Me Better." So, what was the creation process like for that program? That was kind of the same thing. Again. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was being extra picky, I think, especially for this. And then he played the contemporary version, and mm. I was like, yeah. "Wow, that, that's beautiful." And then, and actually, then Marie's like, "That one." Yeah. Yeah, and then. She, yeah, she was like, that's the one. And then um, another skater, um, Olivia, Olivia Smart. Smart. Uh -huh. she was like, sometimes people mix two versions of the same song. Like, why don't you like put in like one of the old versions? Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's really cool. So then Hugo, um, who does everyone's music from Studio Unisons, he like mashed it all together, like three <laughs> songs, four wow. songs, yeah. I think. And he was like, he just made this experimental version, and it's like, really remixed and we were like that's cool yeah let's go for it awesome so what does like a typical training week look like for you guys how many times a week are you skating so we usually skate Monday to Friday mm -hmm. and usually around four hours um, each day and then yeah. after ballet, ballet mm -hmm. workout, workout. ballet is usually twice a week workouts twice or three times Physio. Physio, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So usually, like, pretty full. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty busy, full. On. Yeah. Do you guys have like make time for any like hobbies in between training time? What are your favorite things to do um, with your off time? I love to bake. Oh really? Yeah. What so, do you, What's your favorite thing to bake? Cakes. Yeah, cakes. I guess <laughs> cookies. Anything really. She made yeah. me a really good pistachio cake oh, for my birthday. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 What about you, Jason? What do you like to do? Um, video games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite video game at the moment? Right now, I just got a Switch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been eyeing one recently. Because yeah. I was eyeing like, one if one I'm going to be in the plane for 16 hours. <laughs> yeah, better find I, something to do. Yeah, then. so I was like, okay, I'm going to invest in this. This is like an investment. <laughs> Very yeah, valid. Yeah. He was like, I really want one. I was like, then get one. He's like, but I don't need it. But I want <laughs> but one. I want one. <laughs> yeah. So just my final question for you guys is like a little fun one that we like to end on. So if you guys could let like the whole figure skating fan community know one thing about yourself, like as a team, what would it be? Oh, that's tricky. <laughs> Just something that people might not know about you guys already. Um, I used to compete in skiing. Oh wow, yeah. really? Um, and then I quit for skating because I was like, I think um, sectionals and na or nationals and sectionals were on the same oh, weekend. And yep. it screwed up my competition and I was like, never do it again. <laughs> A bit too hectic to but do yeah, all in one. <laughs> I think, yeah, I won nationals for moguls. So, oh wow. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> what about um, you, Jason? You got a secret past as a skier as well? <laughs> I don't. Um, I just graduated from oh, McGill. Congratulations. Got my bachelor's in science. Wow. So that is that. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to me, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. And really congratulations on your win here, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you so much.